Aloha. Aloha. Top of the morning, friends and family. Today, we're going to show you the difference in ball pythons from when they were young to when they were older. Luckily, I've got plenty of footage from my snakes from way back, and I'm going to show you some of them right now. Right now, Daddy? <laughs> this is Dot. And just because like, she has dots. Because she has dots? I, that's not exactly why I called her Dot. So Dot here is a straight up bamboo ball python. Uh, you're going to see all ball pythons today. We'll do some other snakes too uh, in other future videos. But for today, it's ball pythons. And she was the very first snake I ever unboxed on a video ever. My first video on Triple B TV was unboxing Dot. Got her from Constrictors Unlimited, which is now Mike Wilbank's uh, reptiles. And as you can see, she doesn't look much different than when she was a baby. So I'm kind of cheating here because bamboo is one of those strong traits that just like really, really doesn't change much as it gets older, at least by itself. If you have just bamboo, I mean, it's a powerful, powerful gene. And it just, it looks great from baby to adult. Look at this girl. She's produced several clutches for us at this point, And she's just phenomenal. What do you think about that, T? Yep, it's so pretty. Even it has white on it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Gotta love the white. Beautiful breeder. Great eater. She's beautiful. And she, look, at, look at how big she is. On the move. All right, yeah. let's let's get the next snake. May I am a little freak out about that snake? Another one of those beauties. That beauty is beautiful. <laughs> Beautifuler? We'll let you make up a word just for this snake. This is Cindy. She is an Enchi Firefly Clown that we produced here. Uh, she was actually from our second clutch ever. Firefly Enchi Clown by all rights. And she's a female. She's staying here. She has changed a bit. She still does have, as you can see, these bright yellows coming up on her side. And the way she's changed a bit, is, you can see the, the brown has lightened up. It's not as contrasted as it was when she... <laughs> It's not as contrasty as when she was a little baby, but uh, she's still beautiful. The, that yellow is just creamy goodness coming up the sides. There. Just look at that. that she's a good looking snake. There's no doubt about it. What? What's your face all about? What is this? <laughs> just who do you think you are, little miss? But again, this snake has produced a couple clutches for us too at this point, and she's just... She's still beautiful, but has definitely changed, you know. There, but the thing that you find is, uh, you know, I, I look into the parents of the animals that I'm getting babies of, and that, that was my goal when I was first getting into uh, snakes and, and looking at what animals to get, just, you know, asking for pictures of the parents and, and seeing how they're going to age. And she's kind of a prime example of how they can just age and just look absolutely... <laughs> Per Leia's request, this is sugar and spice. Now these weren't babies too long ago. They're not technically babies now. Now they're kind of like sub-adult, I would say. But these are both Enchi Cinnamon possible het sunsets that I held back because I was pretty dang sure they're gonna prove out as sunset. And you can just see the color on the sides, the, the pink and peach coming up the sides. I'll, I'll do some updates on these guys once they've uh, had a few more sheds too, but they're just, looking great in this sub-adult phase. I mean, I named Sugar Sugar because she's got those markings on her side that look like she's got sugar in her, which by the pairing, she does not, but she sure looks like it. And I named Spice Spice because she's just spicy. Look at this, these things coming up her sides here. She's just gorgeous. Good job, T. <laughs> <laughs> you like sugar? Huh? Sugar's beautiful. You're beautiful, T. Snakey, <laughs> get back here. Get back here, Snakey. I mean, look at that. Look at that. That's just, 
That's just gorgeous. Look at this one. Look at those sugary sides. Just incredible. Oh my goodness. Now you're squeezing her with your thumb. Should we look at a couple more? Yep. Could I hold one of those? Yeah, see. Hold on. Now I'm going to say what some of you guys might be thinking at this point, which is yes, I'm going to do this with our reticulated pythons too. I've got footage of most of our big giant retics as little tiny hatchlings. And so we'll do a video in the future and make sure you're subscribed so you can see that video and just, you know, subscribe anyway because you love us and you want to watch more of us. Right, see? Was that the most humble comment I ever made? <laughs> for you to hold. So this is from another recent clutch, probably the last clutch, actually the last clutch we hatched. He's had a couple sheds at this point. And one thing I want to talk about with this clutch is I'm going to be bringing these animals to the Anaheim Reptile Show next weekend. And if you guys are attending and you're wearing some triple B gear at the show, you come up to our table and you want to get one of the snakes we've got, I'm going to give you guys 10% if you're wearing triple B gear. Oh yeah, you're good T. 10% off our snakes if you're wearing triple B gear at the show. That's going to be huge. I mean, we're going to have some visual clown bides there. So we're talking, you could be getting $500 off a snake, potentially. You just wear some triple B gear. Just throwing it out there. So this one has just been getting better and better uh, with these last few sheds that he's had. And yes, it is a he, and she pied, 100% het clown. And this dude, I mean, I don't know if you guys have seen the uh, Enchi leopard clown pied that Brad Boa has produced. Wow. Incredible. Enchi and Pied and then Clown, just amazing. Why are you freaking out, Snake? My hand in your face? Sorry. I mean, look at this dude. He's just it's the epitome of a gorgeous, gorgeous ball python. Just amazing. Now let's see baby snakes in that cage. Okay, I'm, I'm digressing here with these getting younger and younger snakes. So let's go back to an older snake. This is Freedom. Wow. And she was a Christmas gift from Jesse to me. And that's why I named her Freedom, after Freedom Breeder. And she's a yellow belly clown possible het pied female that we're hoping to prove out this season and she is just also gorgeous and has aged beautifully Look yes see how young she is want to see how long she is we'll put her on the table here see what she does oh she's gonna crawl into the darkness freedom freedom whoa <laughs> my shorts <laughs> All right. She was trying to eat my shorts. <laughs> All right, let's put her away. Should we put her away before she eats your shorts? All right. <laughs> On my face. <laughs> <laughs> she couldn't get enough snake time, even though we're we're done with that video now. <laughs> Hey, boys, what's going on in here? Cleaning up. Oh my gosh. <laughs> hey, Noah. What do you know? I know. Pencils. Pencils? What about pencils? That you have to sharpen them. Most pencils have erasers. And I'll get a pencil right now. No, Daddy. Have you done pencils before on my tripping? Your trip is, the part you write with is made of lead. Is it? Yeah, 
They used to make them out of lead. I don't think they make them out of lead anymore. Now it's made out of graphite. Because lead is poisonous. Yeah. I've... What's he? Now can you put this back? Uh, you which wanted to have that snake. You have to hold that snake now. I'll you can pass off your brothers. They want it. What kind of snake is that, Noah? A, some kind of ancient clown. <laughs> no. I've heard you say that a lot. Nice. I, I don't know how this turned into a game of catch, but it did. <laughs> you guys take care of yourselves, take care of each other. We'll see you on the next video, which will be, well, you know, if you're in Phoenix right now and you're watching this video the day it came out, come see us tomorrow, myself and Garrett over at CMB Reptile, North Central Phoenix. I'll put the address right here and you guys come check us out. You guys take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and we'll see you in the next video. Aloha. Welcome to the channel. <laughs> Great start, Brian. We're gonna show you today the differences in ball, ball pythons. We're gonna show you today the differences in ball. Holy crap. <laughs> today we're gonna show you the difference in ball pythons.